Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about how to play games and today we're going to be playing Mother. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and saved the animals from the zoo. Or at least we saved them from the weird high-pitched noise that was making them go crazy. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and just see what else we can do in town. Because we've pretty much saved everyone. We've gotten three of the melodies. And we've, we've saved... Pippi from the cemetery. We saved the animals at the zoo. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and move north here. So yeah, at this sign here, we went left to the zoo, but what happens if we go right? Well, it leads us up northeast. For some reason, I get my, I believe they're called cardinal directions mixed up. I get north, south, east, and west mixed up. I, I got north and south down, but for some reason, whenever I'm writing notes on something, I always mix up east and west. I'm gonna talk to this policeman here. I finally lifted the orders for martial law. They overreacted a little bit, if you ask me. Say, you know how to use telepathy or whatever, right? Everyone's talking about you, you know. You're a real celebrity. Took the words right out of my mouth. I was gonna say, we're a celebrity around town now. But yeah, this is where enemies start to get really tough. We have two crows now, so we take one down, and the other one can steal our bread. But yeah, once we get out of these random encounters, there's a cave nearby that I want to go into. And in there, we can progress the story. Here it is. This is the cave I was talking about. If we go in... Got some strange music. This weird shell-looking thing. Something is speaking into Nintendo's mind. Nintendo heard a voice. Where is the god's tale? Nintendo took out his great-grandfather's diary and read these words aloud. That which was left behind by the ship that soils the heavens. And after that weirdness, welcome to Magicant. This is a strange world, and we'll get to what it's about a lot later in the series, but we're just kind of here for now. Could I interest you in a big bag? In that case, could I borrow your ATM for a short while? Sure. Thanks, I promise I'll give it back. It just seems really cool. Here, now give it back. Alright, I need to return your ATM card. Here's this for you. It's a big bag. I don't even think that I read that correctly. But now we have the big bag, which can help heal us and stuff. Great description, me. This is our ATM here. You can just talk to him and... Well, no, that's the phone. You can talk to him and you can call your dad. Building over here, random civilian. I'm going to bring this broken earring to the fountain to turn it into a magic earring. So there's some weird fountain. If you pull out a red weed and put it in the fountain, it'll turn into a magic herb, just like magic. So yeah, there's this fountain that everyone seems to be talking about that we'll get into later. So right here we have the mysterious goods keeper. And we're gonna go ahead and put away uh, great grandfather's diary. Anything else you want to store? Nah, I think I'm pretty good. Right here. Whoa, those are some weird clothes you have on there. I bet you'll attract monsters dressed like that. I'm so embarrassed, I wish I could crawl into a hole. If only there were holes to crawl into. Oh, are you lost? Just keep going south. Oops, sorry. I thought you were looking for a restroom. If you're looking for Queen Mary's fountain, then just go west from the castle. So not only is there a fountain, but there's a castle and a queen named Queen Mary. I feel so relaxed just listening to the mysterious sound of the fountain. So a lot of people around town like this fountain. Well, not really. It's not really a town. Leave Magic Camp? That, that'd be the day. <laughs> Outside? What is this outside you speak of? So yeah, no one here seems to have been outside of Magicant before. 
Have you met a guy who talks about how you can't part if you haven't met? No. You really shouldn't meet him. You'll be a better person for it. Deep in the forest is a guitar player who loves solitude. He's a c he's kind of handsome and a great poet too. I can't get around that table. Happiness won't just walk into your life on its own, but neither will unhappiness. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I feel like you have to work for something to truly gain happiness, but not to get philosophical on you, but hard work and effort, you know, all that stuff. So if you don't want trouble in your life, then you'd best stay still and never move a muscle. You don't fit in with this place, you know that? So yeah, we know of a couple things. One, there's a fountain. Two, there's a castle. Three, there's a queen named Th Queen Mary. And four, no one has ever been outside of Magic Ant. And five, we're weird. Have you met the guy who philosophizes about happiness? People cannot part if they have not yet met. I think we already met the guy who philosophizes about happiness. He's a master nicknamer. He's got a real knack for names. So now we're gonna head back to that guy who is saying, Have you met the... Guy. I forget exactly what they said. It'll probably be in the text bubble. Have you met a guy who talks about how you can't part if you haven't met? I agree with him, actually. So yeah, that's just a little side plot. Not really useful in any way. I bent my spoon, and now it's hard to eat with. Can you bend it back for me? Please hurry. Nintendo used the power of PSI to fix the spoon. Thanks. Munch, munch, chomp, chomp. When I first played this when I was younger, I thought that he was eating the spoon. Because in the NES version, it's a bit weird, weirdly worded, if I remember correctly. I don't know. But yeah, this is how we... This is basically the hotel. Got some shops up here, but we can't buy anything because we have the easy ring and the t-ball bat. And that's all we can really get for Nintendo. I finished the Ocarina of Hope. It can play the melodies that you know. Do you want it? You're a real straightforward guy. Here you go. So yeah, now we have the Ocarina of Hope. And I can't leave. Excuse me. Okay, thank you. So we have some shops, and we have the hospital. I used to run a musical instrument store, but the ocarina I ordered never arrived, so I've given up. Let's just not tell them about our ocarina. Oh, Traveler, why don't you eat with us? Here, can you guess what we're having today? Yeah, that's right, steak. I read your mind and decided to make steak. How does it taste? Do you like it? Thanks! Your bed is ready. Pleasant dreams. So this is another hotel, I think. It looks like you slept well. Where are you off to today? Take care. So, now that we've talked to all the people in Magic Hand, we're gonna go ahead and walk to the castle that everyone's been talking about. And we're here. These are the guards. You look suspicious, but I'll let you through if you can solve my little riddle. Go ahead and use telepathy on him. That's right. The answer is two alligators. I haven't thought up the question yet, though. <laughs> he had the same reaction that I did. So yeah, this can be a funny game when it wants to be. So we're gonna head into the second room here, and then the second room here, and then the third room here, and open up this gift box. Nintendo opened the present. Found Boomerang. But you can't hold on to any more stuff, crud. I'll go ahead and... I guess I'll eat the bread. Oh wait, hold on. You can't eat bread in this game. Uh... 
So here's showing off what breadcrumbs do. You use breadcrumbs and it brings you back to exactly where you were. Not the most useful item. Well, it is useful. It's just not the way that I used it. Was it useful? I worded that st very strangely. Go to goods. Boomerang. We're gonna head back through here and walk into this first door. And we seem to find the red carpet that leads up to Queen Mary. Welcome, Ninten. Here in the land of Magic Hand, everyone is your friend. And you can have as much as you like of whatever you want. Oh, you want to hear my song? I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I just can't seem to remember it. I'm sure I'll be able to remember it someday. If I can just sing it again, something will happen. I just know it. Well, we know a little bit of it. If we go ahead and use the ocarina. Played the Ocarina of Hope. Did you catch that? So yeah, that's all we know so far. But with meeting Queen Mary and exploring the small, strange world of Magic Cant, that's where I'm going to go ahead and end off today's video, unless we run into a random encounter. No, we didn't actually. I'm surprised we didn't run to, into any random encounters to Queen Mary's Castle or from there. So, without further ado, I'm going to end off the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and see what else there is, check out the fountain, and just see if there's anything else in Magic Ant. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Also, doesn't it look like this crow is wearing weird-looking sh shoes?